Welcome to Design Tips. Today we are going to have a look on the sketch symbols. It's going to be handy for both beginners but also for experienced designers. You will learn new hacks and recap your knowledge. Let's have a look on that. Before we start, sketch symbols are really awesome from two main reasons. First reason is speed. It allows you to be way faster because you don't need to change your components all over the place, you just change it once and that's awesome. Second reason is consistency. Since you are not building your components from sketch all the time, it allows you to be more consistent with your patterns, your inputs, your whatever, it allows you to be more consistent. But right now, let's just jump directly into those tips. Working with symbols. We have here example of contact application. On the left hand side, we are going to build it without symbols. On the right hand side, we are going to build it with symbols. So to make this more real, we are actually going to duplicate those rows. So it feels more like a real contact application. Hold Alt and then Command D. On the right hand side, we are actually going to do something slightly different. We are going to select this group and we are going to click on create symbol up here. If you don't have this icon here, click, click here with the right click and click on the customize toolbar. Create symbol, choose the name for your symbol. It's put there whatever you want for now. We will have a look on the naming conventions later. For now, it's just going to be user row. Boom. How, uh, click Alt, Command D. And you might say that this is pretty similar layout, right? But what will happen if you would like to, let's say, change this avatar to square, right? On the left-hand side, you would need to go to every single one of these rows and change it manually. And that's a lot of work. Imagine doing this on six or 10 different artboards, right? But on the right-hand side, you actually double-click this and open up your symbol. And here you can actually change that really easily and it's just going to change everywhere for you on all artboards across you know multiple different folders so it's just going to save you so much time and it's just going to make your life way easier and you can do this with the text you can do it with the multiple different icons etc I will show you more tips later using overrides. We already learned how to use and how to create symbols, but let's have a look how powerful symbols actually are. So here we have a symbol, right? You can see it here, it's called the user row. And we are going to actually focus on this panel on the right hand side called overrides. Here you can actually override every single text what is nested within the symbol. Right, so you can go and change the name. Let's say that we need to make it John Doe. Boom, we need to make it title designer. Boom, and if you'd like to duplicate this, just hold Alt, put it below, and you can put different values to those. So let's say that this isn't going to be designer, this is going to be magician. Boom, and this is going to be Jessica Parker. Boom. This is also working for images and that's pretty cool. So you can put there whatever image you want, like it's just completely random, but this will allow you to even change images, change text, etc. This will not affect the original symbol. The original symbol will remain all the time same, but you can override its value. That's pretty handy. Naming. As I mentioned before, I would like to share with you how I name my sketch symbols so you can actually build better and more robust sketch files with this approach. So let's have a look on this. I usually use this, uh, this system where I actually first put their UI slash component slash name slash subname slash state. Slash actually means that there is subfolder so sketch actually can create it. So whenever you would like to create subfolder, put their slash. So in the real world example, this would be UI, buttons, main, pink, and then state. Let's actually have a look uh, on a few sketch symbols I created before. So let's create a rectangle here, actually two rectangles. Let's duplicate this guy. Let's uh, duplicate this guy, as I said, and let's click on replace. Let's put their search active. And I also would like to put here uh, input and active. Excellent. I actually also would like to put here button. So let's go to Replace, buttons, pink, active. And here I actually have created UI in super 
easy way. But if I would like to like change this input to different state, I go to UI, input, and I go to recolor. Boom, I have it. But this, the beauty of this approach is the fact that you can first really like easily navigate within your sketch symbols, and you can also share this with other designers, developers, product managers, and they will understand it. That's the really like real beauty of this method. Symbol hacks. This is actually where it gets interesting. Let's have a look on this. So here you actually see the symbol. You might say nothing interesting, right? But when you open up this symbol, you can see that there is embedded or nested symbol on the right hand side. This icon, this settings icon is actually symbol within the symbol. That's pretty interesting, and this actually allows you to do pretty interesting hacks. So here, when you get back to your artboard, you can actually see that you can change this with overrides, and you can change this to different icons based on your preference. When you duplicate this, you can actually set up different icons for the different rows. You can even you can even set this up to none, so this allows you to be super flexible with your designs. One note regards to this. So these nested symbols actually needs to have similar names and the artboards need to have same size. Otherwise, Sketch is not going to recognize them as same Sketch symbols and it's not going to work, so be aware of that. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I plan to do new videos every two weeks, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of those. And see you next time.